Now that we got it broken down, we gotta buff it up and then get it in the machine avail. I haven't come across anything that looks weird yet. Everything seems to be okay. So I don't think we'll have any issues with this. Well, Magnaflux it, make sure there is no cracks in it and all that before we get to honing it. Let's get to that. I have officially figured out what this is measuring. It is already 30 over. As you can see with the Dalbor gauge, got it set to 40 now. Get it up higher so it actually. It's got about a little bit of wear in the cylinder, but not much, not much at all. But we're gonna get this thing over to 40 over and get it done. Cylinders are done being bored, so now it's time to switch out the stones and start honing this bad boy. Let's get to it. We have finished honing the cylinders. Everything came out great. So all that's left to do is get it in the washer, get the plugs and bearings back in it, and then get the building. So if you remember from earlier, it's kind of crazy how decent this crank looks, considering how bad those rod bearings look. Like there's not really any kind of nothing there, there, there. And this one here has a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that'll polish out. We're going to have to mic this up and check it a little better, but visually inspecting it, looks fine. We got the crank sized up and now it's time to go through our parts, make sure we got everything we're supposed to, and well, I know we're not going to have our camshaft yet. I got an update, it should be here tomorrow, which is awesome, so I can go ahead and get this thing done. But let's go through these parts, see what we got, and make sure we have it all. First up, we got our new valves for our aluminum heads. Yeah, buddy. Look them bad boys. Yeah, 2105. 2105, where are you? And the Baron's out because I ordered multiple sets of them. Can't ever have too many small block Chevy CH8 cam Baron's on hand or the plugs for them. Oh, intake check. Exhaust valves, yeah, buddy. We already found that, so that's right here. That's a 1 6 exhaust and a 202 intake. Got an old pump to M55. Rocker says the direct order. Where did I direct order those from? Do not have my studs and my plates in here? No, look, they don't have my studs, so my studs are not here either. That may not have been an update for my camshaft. That might have been the update for the rocker arm studs. Because the cam, the guide plates are right here. And I also don't see if it was called right now off the top of my head. What is that called? I can't even think of the name of that. Anyways, moving on. Aluminum heads, we're done too. I'll show you those in a little bit. Check kit 260, 261,000. We've got the CR803SI, which is going to be your connector rod bearings there. Check. I never have not found this pump yet. There it is. The pump check. Main bearings. The 554 AM check. Patron cast rings. 40 over. I don't have my pistons in here either. Jesus. Anyways, ring set check. 
So I am still missing. What a knock off on the back right here. They put that on my ticket. I told them to do that on a separate order. God, that drives me insane. It's my three <laughs> cam bearings and my three plugs for small block Chevy, which I need to take $26 off of the total ticket. But either way, that's why I said a separate order. Put it on a different freaking order. God, that is not difficult to understand. But yes, I got the bearings, got the plug kit. They said they gave me lube and they didn't. <laughs> Not that I need any more of it. Yep, there's the pistons direct order. So I'm missing my rocker arm studs, my pistons. And I do not see. Yeah, I don't have them and nor are they on my ticket. I'm gonna have to call them. Let me open the heads to make sure the heads didn't come with them or something stupid like that. Which I've never seen happen before. <laughs> oh lordy. Don't she look nice and pretty? Nope, it is not on here. So I didn't think it would be, but I know I ordered them. In fact, I know I ordered them because I forgot to order them, and the guy was like, the, I just can't remember the guy's name I was ordering them through, but he was like, hey, do you also need the, I gotta look that up so I can stop not knowing what the name of them are. Do you need those, the part that I'm missing? <laughs> and I was like, yes, thank you for reminding me. I do need those a lot. We can't put these guys together yet because again, we don't have our comp cams, cam and lifter kit. Well, actually it's a complete kit. It's the springs, locks, retainers, and everything else that these heads need to actually put the valves in them. But while we're waiting on all that stuff, we can at least start sizing the rods because I don't have the pistons. I gotta call and figure out when I'm supposed to be getting the pistons. I gotta call and order the part that I'm missing. Huh. Let's get to that. Like, no reason to be sitting here talking. Spring locators. Don't know why I couldn't come up with that. But anyways, we got them ordered now. We got them fitted to the actual spring that we have with the comp cam. So that was the only thing that looks to be missing off the order that I can tell right offhand. And the other three items I'm missing are direct orders. So I'm waiting on the rocker arm studs. I'm waiting on the cam itself. And I'm waiting on the pistons. Yay. But since I don't have the pistons, I can't really start assembling it. But I got to check the clearances first anyway. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the block together, put the bearings in it, and start clearancing the main caps, and then I'll clearance the rods, and as soon as the pistons get here, I'll hang them and put it together. Another vlog has come to an end, which means it's time to smash this like button right here, click on the share button over here, share this vlog with anybody you think might find it interesting, comment down below, let me know what you thought about the vlog. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, that way there you'll get the notifications, and we will talk with you later. Whoosh! We got all the plugs we took out back in it. We got all the cam bearings in there. Check them to make sure they were lining up properly. So all that's left, get this thing on the engine stand, get it up front, and start mocking the bearings up for the main cap. Squish.